welcome again to your channel thanks for the click so as you can see uh, today we are going to begin a new series series that is related to vocabulary and particularly academic vocabulary or we can say academic english so these or this series is going to provide you with a lot of expressions a lot of vocabulary that will be beneficial helpful for you either for writing essays articles or even research or even discussion especially in uh, academic setting discussions like delivery presentations or discussion classroom discussions and so on it can also be useful for all english learners in general like using these expressions in daily language or everyday language so uh, today we are going to focus on or see some kind of noun phrases or nouns now let's begin with sentence number one and see these words or these nouns so the environmental issue is at the top of the government concern so here we have two words we have issue and we have concern so when i say issue it can also be a problem environmental matter uh, so here we can also use it with society for example and i can say social problems or social issues and is at the top of the government's concern and when i say concerns or concern it can be considered as interest so we can also say interest or agenda for instance so here we have issue matter or problem and here we have concern like agenda or interest now number two the theme of this book is gravity and when i say the theme of we can say the topic okay or the subjects we can say the subject as well so a topic or subject of this book is gravity so what the book is all about what is the topic of the book or the subject of the book number three the theory of revolution was criticized we can say many times every theory can be criticized so when i say the theory the theory it's kind of rules a kind of explanation which most of the time based on uh, research and based on experiment so that's what we mean by a theory a theory of revolution we can have theories in language theories in science theories in literature and so on the grammar is an aspect of language grammar is an aspect of language so we can say grammar is an aspect of language or grammar is a part a part of language part so aspect of a part of grammar is an aspect of language grammar is a part of language so this is a very important expression to remember an aspect of the number of accident is increasing the number this expression is important the number of accident is increasing the number of crimes is increasing the number of students is increasing at high schools for example or universities the number of job opportunities is increasing and so on so the number of something something that we can number okay the significance of english language in research so we can say the significance or we can simply say importance the significance of or the importance of english language in research the importance the significance he conducted a research on psychology a research on he conducted a research on psychology a research is something that we can conduct based on methodology a design etc so always a research is an attempt to reveal to reach a certain results so that's what you buy a research methodology design a kind of experiment a kind of maybe uh, endeavor or try to reach certain results about a certain topic their perspectives on globalization so we can say perspectives or we can say views for example okay so we can say views or perspectives on globalization we can say views we can also say opinions their opinions their views their perspectives on globalization an attempt to analyze the book an attempt to an attempt or we can say try try an endeavor to analyze the book or to do something so an attempt to do something like when we conduct a research we conduct a research as an attempt to reach certain results to prove or disprove certain we can say hypothesis okay so the readers something on this article were positive 
this is for you to complete with one of these expressions or these noun phrases. Okay, so as you can see, all these nouns, all these expressions can be used with prepositions and here I have given them to you with prepositions that we can use, for example, research on. So we use research on and we can also say perspectives on and we say attempt to, we say an aspect of, we can also say the theme of or theory of. So these are very essential, we can say expressions or vocabulary you can use while conducting research while writing, while delivering presentations, while discussing, etc. Very important ones. I hope you find them very beneficial. Don't forget to complete this one by one of these expressions. If you have any question or suggestion, don't hesitate to let me know. See you in another episode with another lesson. Have a good time and goodbye.